Today on the channel for the brand new Disney Plus Marvel Legends Wave, we've got the Kingpin and we've got Yelena Belova. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! here and welcome back to the channel for another Marvel Legends unboxing and review and today on the channel from the brand new Disney Plus wave we've got the Kingpin and we've got Yelena Belova but for all your Marvel Legend needs and a whole lot more make sure you're hitting up DJC collectibles use discount code 8 off DJC to save 8% off your entire order got to get a deal out there and that's exactly what it is I did pick these up from DJC Collectibles as they are shipping these right now if you are in the market. And of course we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. Without further ado, we're going to start off with Yelena because ladies first at the end of the day. Ladies first. So that's where we're going to start with this one. Of course, both these characters here are from the Hawkeye Wave. We're getting a little bit of Disney Plus Mania here. We got some What If. We, of course, got WandaVision. And then um, What If, WandaVision, Hawkeye. And then, of course, Secret Invasion. That's the other one there. So a little bit of amalgam of different uh, properties from Disney Plus all into a wave. And then the build a figure is What If based as well. But there's old Yelena Belova in the Hawkeye uh, TV gear, TV show gear, I guess we'll call it. We got the Hawkeye logo down here, purple background. Very cool picture on the front of the package here, but man, uh, it'll be interesting if the figure looks like this. This looks like artwork. It looks like CGI or something. It doesn't look like the action figure at all. It just looks very airbrushed in the face. Maybe that's just me. I don't know, but we got Marvel Legends up there as well. I think it says, yep, Disney Plus right there. On the side, you got the checklist. Of course, you got the Hydra Stomper. An interesting one. We got one not too long ago. This is more of the what if based one, I guess, uh, for whatever it's worth. And we'll see it. And we'll compare those. And of course, we're going to do all the videos. And then at the very end, we'll build the build a figure and we'll rank the entire wave as we usually do. On the side, we got Marvel Legends right there. Looking good. Interesting uh, artwork. And it's a uniform artwork in this set across the board. Then on the back, a bunch of jibber-jabber down low. You got the Build-A-Figure piece. We got a few accessories with Yelena Belova, and we'll dive into this one. And this isn't the first time we've had Yelena in the Marvel Legends line, as we do know. We've had a few of her over the years. Throw her off to the side. See you later. Goodbye. And she's locked in the old cardboard, the cardboard prison. See you later like a Frisbee goodbye. Spider-Man style, bam! See you later. Goodbye. And we got the pieces here. What do we got going on? Oh, build a figure piece right there. There's the old Hydra Stomper. Almost feels like Ultron or something like that, or a Tony Stark type thing. See you later, which kind of is, kind of is, I guess. Get the old weapons out. There we go. A couple of batons, a couple of fists, and uh, we got a party. There it is. See you later. Goodbye. And she's all wrapped up. Like she's ready for burial at sea, is what this reminds me of. But we got that going on right there. And bam, see you later. All right, let's get down to business. And oh, I think I got a paint issue. Oh, I do got a paint issue right under... Nope, I don't. It was just a piece of paint. It did come off, thank thankfully. So, crisis diverted. Crisis diverted. But let's dive in to the hands first, like we usually do in the accessories. She comes here ready to play. She's got two open hands. And here we are, two fists of fury right here. Choose your own Yelena Belova hand adventure. To me, you got to use the open hands because she's got to hold her weapons. And we got two baton sticks. I guess that's what we'll call these things, baton sticks. All in gray kind of is what it is. I mean, it is stuff she used. I would have liked a gun of some sort. Maybe that's just me. Uh, but just two of these little batons. So not a ton of stuff with this one. Of course, it is a female figure, so it's a little bit smaller. And with usual, the smaller characters, smaller figures, you get the big build-a-figure piece. And that's what we got here with the Hydra Stomper with Yelena. But now we get her out of the package. And I got to say, it does remind me, and it does look like, of course, uh, what we saw on the front of the package there. So I guess I'll take that back. I thought it looked too CGI, too cartoony. This does look like her. Now, I will say the head sculpt on this one, it does look like Yelena Belova from the show. Maybe a hint too pale. Maybe just a hint. Needs a little sun kiss of sun in the uh, uh, complexion there. But definitely an interesting one. 
Got the uh, very dark red lipstick there that really makes it feel maybe a whiter face as well. I like this kind of mohawk braid going on here. I like this hairdo on here. This is very, very cool. I'm getting some ideas. I think I need to do this with my hair, but I love the braid on this one. Definitely looks really cool. Definitely looks like something different. Uh, definitely a cool one. But then you go from the head and you get to the body, and the body is basically like almost could be army builder. It almost feels like a soldier. And I guess the red room, all that kind of fun stuff. But definitely you could grab different female heads, throw it on this body, and you could call this an army builder. This would be great for customizers, things like that. That's one of the first things I do notice on this figure here. There's no doubt about it. Uh, but a very plain Jane black jumpsuit going on. You get a little bit of a stripe down the chest there. Uh, you get some stripage on the pants. And then you get the black boots, the black knee pads. Back in black, like a young ACDC in a lot of ways. You do get kind of the ammo guard thing around here, the wristband on both of these hands here. So we do have some of that going on. Uh, but besides that, not a ton going on with this figure. And we've had other Yelena Belovas, and we'll bring those out here in a second. We did talk about that earlier. But let's walk through the articulation real quick. Head, back, forth, side to side. A lot of movement on the head, I will say. Head removable. Of course, head is removable. Pop it right off if you need to. Arms do go all the way around. Uh, no bicep cut, no nothing. We do get pinless joints, which is nice, uh, but it's very interesting as you can almost dislocate her elbow there. So it is single jointed. I'm not sure exactly what's going on there, but a weird deep bend and you got a little bit of like a, a puck. It almost looks like half of a hockey puck coming out at the elbow. So that is interesting as well, but it really does look like you just dislocate her arm if you want to. So very interesting articulation on that one. You do get the side to side at the elbow though. And then uh, some of that padding comes out as that is stuck into the top of the arm instead of the bottom. So definitely interesting there. Hands gonna be removable, hands back, forth, side to side. You get the hula hoop at the top, there it is. Traditional waist is not there, so that is your articulation. No traditional waist on this one. Nope, no traditional waist. You get the big old splits if you need them. Thigh cut going on. Double jointed uh, knees, yep, double jointed knees, but they are uh, not pinless. And once again, you kind of got that hockey puck, whatever you want to call that in the middle, kind of making a little bit of an eyesore on the articulation there. Uh, no boot cut, ankles back, forth, side to side, up and down. And basically, that's all she wrote for old Yelena Belova. Now, I really did enjoy her in the Hawkeye series. I did watch the entire series. Some people didn't like it. Some liked it. I enjoyed the series. I don't know. It felt cool around the holidays and stuff. Maybe it was just me. I don't know. But I did enjoy her in that series there. Or in that series there. Easy for me to say. You know, you'll never hear the name Kate Bishop again without thinking of it in her voice. At least me. That's Relax, Kate Bishop. That's how I did it. But does she fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle, save 10%, make sure you get the Mattel stands. What do you know, she fits perfectly right there. And I did mention that this isn't the first Yelena Belova figure we've received. This was the last one we actually got. It was uh, part of the last Marvel Legends wave. I think that was the last wave we unboxed on the channel here. Not really familiar with that version of it. Definitely a far cry from this one in a lot of ways, but definitely Elena Belova. And then we did get this one back in the day with the Black Widow movie. Uh, so this is kind of the earlier version, I guess we'll say, on this one. This is the older, more grown-up version in a lot of ways. But no stranger to this character here. I like some of this stuff, and I guess one thing you could do is... Uh, oh, maybe not. Oh, maybe so. I was going to say, you could always switch the heads around. I guess they're not 100% accurate if you do that. But let's say you really like this head sculpt. I mean, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. It can easily be done if you wanted to. And then you could pop this head over here. And bam, there you go. Man, I was talking about the pale skin tone on this one. This one's even paler. But you can definitely move these things around if you wanted to. They might not be uh, actual uh, from the show or anything like that. But at the end of the day, if you want to play around and just do some stuff, you could easily do that if you wanted to. So there it is, Yelena Belova. Getting the job done, whatever job that ends up being. But now we're going to turn our attention to an all-timer, one of my all-time favorites, the Kingpin. Of course, the Kingpin, uh, more familiar to me during the Spider-Man and Punisher reading of my kid, childlike comic book reading. That's where I first came into the Kingpin. And then, of course, Spider-Man animated series. Now he's making the rounds in the MCU. Of course, the Daredevil show on Netflix, he was there. Brought over to the Hawkeye series as well. And it's one of those things, too, where you have an image of uh, Kingpin in the comics and animated series. Then when you get the real live series, live action series, not quite what you think of. Obviously a big, big dude, but in the comics, just a massive, almost incredible Hulk size is what I think of the Kingpin. So something a little bit different here. But once again, this is the MCU version. This is the Hawkeye series version. 
Once again, Hawkeye-inspired packaging, Marvel Legends at the top as well. No build-a-figure piece with this one there, so that's something to note there. No build-a-figure. If you just want Kingpin, you're not going to get anything else with him. Checklist on the side. Little artwork action of the Kingpin over there. Then on the back, a lot of jibber-jabber at the bottom. Full of jibber-jabber that nobody's going to read. You get some accessories, you get the figure, and you're off to the races. Truly off to the Kingpin races here, but I'm here for this one. I'm excited to see this one. Of course, we did see this at San Diego Comic-Con not too long ago. I was taking a look at it in the case. There it goes. See you later. Goodbye. Get a little Spider-Man style. Bam! See you later. Goodbye. Cardboard. See you later. Goodbye. We're just throwing everything around here. We're just making a mess. That's what we do. Just making a mess every single day. Stuff everywhere. Stuff everywhere. Let's get this cane out. There it is. We got two hands and a cane. Bam! See you later. Goodbye. And then we got the kingpin ready to... Pin some kings. Who knows? See you later. Goodbye. All right, we get two Fists of Fury. I'm here for it. Kingpin, a big dude. He should be throwing some Fists of Fury. We don't really think of Kingpin using a weapon too much. It's usually his fist and his power, maybe his cane from time to time, but he's used a weapon a time or two, but we do get two Fists with him here. And then we do get a cane, and it's got like kind of a, a jewel at the end, a diamond maybe. And of course, when I think of Kingpin as well, I always think of something like this. So definitely cool. We got a little bit of a bend in it there. Might have to heat that up to straighten it out, but it definitely is the Kingpin. It definitely is his cane right here looking really good. Now we're going to get down to the Kingpin. Let's see what we think about this one. Man, oh man, it definitely feels different. It definitely is very, very different. Uh, I, just, I don't know. First impression, boy, it feels like somebody uh, popped a pin in him and deflated a balloon is what I feel like. Because, of course, you see Kingpin, you see the big bald head here. You see the white outfit. You see the purplish slacks. We'll call them slacks and the black shoes. It fits the definition of Kingpin, but just not the definition of size. But once again, it goes back to he was smaller in the TV show than he was in the comics, things like that. It's kind of like you got to get over that a little bit. And uh, I'm struggling a little bit. I'll admit it. I'm struggling here. But definitely looks like the actor there. He's got the face. He's got a very uh, kind of a Basset Hound-like look. If you're familiar with the old Basset Hound, kind of got that that dopey, kind of loving, kind of qu uh, quizzical look going on in his face. He's kind of got that going on there. Just kind of a very stoic, plain Jane uh, expression but of course he does look like a human being he does have two eyes he does got a two two ears and he does have a nose and a mouth so uh, he's playing all the human facial feature hits here at the table uh, he does have two gripping hands here i guess articulation arms gonna go all the way around for us bicep cut double jointed elbows but not pinless here and it really is noticeable on this coat hands removable back forth side to side waist articulation no ab crunch on this one. No ab crunch, and his coat is not removable. If you remove it, you're never getting it back on. I can tell you that much. That's for sure. Uh, he's got that going on. Then you got the purple pants down here. You can do a little bit of splits, not a ton of articulation there. You do get the thigh cut. You do get the double jointed pinless knees, though. I do like that, and they are very, very tight. You do get the ankle articulation back for side to side. The usual ankle articulation we're used to from the Marvel Legends team, of course. Does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle. Save 10%. He fits perfectly on that old ringside stand right there. Definitely an interesting one. One that might take a little getting used to at the end of the day here. I don't know. It's just, it's not my kingpin. And that's always tough when characters you're very familiar with and know they have a different change or they change them or they do something. It just takes some time to kind of warm up to that. And I, maybe that's how it'll be with this kingpin here. I'm not exactly sure. But speaking of kingpin, I do got the OG build a figure for kingpin. And man, oh man, this is kingpin all day long to me. You can definitely see the similarities between these two, but the size is the biggest difference. But man, look at this hulking kingpin. I think in most people's eyes, this is what we think of with kingpin. There's no doubt about it. Absolutely love this build a figure. Of course, they did later re-release this on the retro card with a little bit more comic version uh but definitely a very cool version of kingpin and i'm still going to put this one over this one at the end of the day but there it is there's the start of the disney plus wave what are your guys' thoughts on this one are you all in on this wave you picking and choosing are you passing totally and there's a lot of people that might pass totally on this because we do know some people just collect the comic book stuff. Some people just collect the, the uh, movie stuff and the Disney Plus stuff. That's where this falls in here. But this might split the audience a little bit out there watching. But definitely some interesting figures. There's no doubt about it. They're both interesting figures. Maybe not the best of the best, but both interesting figures and interesting takes on both these characters as well. From the Hawkeye series also. So 
There it is. What are your guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day. Yes, you heard it right. Every single day. And we got even more content for you on the old Patreon channel. Patreon going to be your best way to support this very YouTube channel and all the content it does bring. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media. Sir Paul 64 on X. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for Yelena Belova and the Kingpin 2, I am Kyle. I'll see you all real soon.